Russian President Vladimir Putin is hinting at restarting negotiations in the ongoing Ukraine war through secret, indirect channels. As per reports citing Russian sources, Russia has sent out signals to the U.S. through back channels that it may be willing to consider dropping its insistence on Ukraine's neutrality and also ultimately abandon opposition to its eventual NATO membership. However, in return, Russia is demanding control of the Ukrainian territory that it is occupying, something which has so far been unacceptable to Kiev. In recent years, Russia has occupied around 18% of Ukrainian territory. U.S. officials, meanwhile, have not confirmed these developments. The Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, said publicly that the U.S. currently does not see any prospect of negotiations. Publicly, uh, publicly, even Putin has not indicated that he wants to stop the war. But the back-channel talks, or track to diplomacy, often involves public denials of unofficial and non-governmental contacts. Some U.S. and European officials, in fact, have also reportedly dubbed it as a trap by Moscow, as the existence of a secret back channel between the U.S. and Russia would put Ukraine at unease. Reports of indirect talks on a potential ceasefire have emerged before as well. However, it remains unclear how serious they have been. Some analysts see it as a calculated strategy, as such a prospect could divide Western allies who have been, assi who have been assisting Ukraine with millions of dollars of aid. Despite that, Ukraine has not been able to claim significant claims as part of its counteroffensive. And uh, with us live on the broadcast is uh, Leona Livko, uh, Managing Director, Henry Jackson Society. Thanks very much for being here. What is your uh, reaction to what we are seeing unfolding? Uh, these uh, uh, back-channel talks, uh, the reports talking about uh, these uh, negotiations that possibly are uh, taking place. Lovely to be with you, Molly. Thank you, especially on India's uh, National Day. Um, we have to be very careful with the reports coming out of unverified sources, especially about conversations uh, that are being held behind closed doors, because as you rightly noted, um, this could just be another diversion uh, by Russian propaganda, and we're all involved in the information warfare. So one aim of this would be actually uh, dividing the allies and um, sowing this distrust uh, amongst European allies, especially if they would consider that the United States is holding negotiations behind Ukraine's and behind their backs. Uh, whereas we got reiteration many, many times before by all leaders reassuring Ukraine and all the allies uh, that there are no talks about Ukraine without Ukraine. Um, so I think we are going to believe that narrative and uh, Frankly, the conversations about reaching any kind of ceasefire by Putin can only be used by them now ahead of the elections to reinforce their positions internally. Right. Uh, also, what is your assessment of the situation on the ground as far as uh, the Russia-Ukraine war is concerned? Where do you think uh, things are really headed and where they stand at this point? Uh, Ukraine is gearing up towards 2024, uh, definitely preparing for spring uh, and the new counteroffensive. Uh, now, there are many talks of, of how this war is going to go in, in this new year. I don't think any experts could tell you for sure, uh, given the pending confirmation of finances going towards Ukraine. We know of the package um, at the EU and another finance package by the United States that is yet to get approved by the US Congress. And everything really will depend on that financial aid to Ukraine. If we get more weapons, if funding for more shells, uh, that Ukraine desperately needs right now, uh, then for sure Ukraine will be well on its way to retake some of its territory or at least dig deep uh, for deep defense. Uh, and the best defense uh, for Ukraine in 2024 will be the offense. Um, but at the same time, we have to note that Ukraine has made great progress um, in the naval sphere. Uh, we have pushed back Black Sea fleet uh, out of the Black Sea. There is now 
very effective and efficient transportation of grains out of Ukraine towards Africa and all the countries who are actually relying on us not to starve. Um, the ground counteroffensive could be a little bit more difficult, but Ukraine is gearing up towards public-private partnerships and, and licensing of Western artillery. Um, so with that and with the incoming uh, fighter jets of the fourth and potentially fifth generation F-16s and, and the likes, um, Ukraine has really strong chances in 2024 to actually retake more than it is expected now. Aliona, thanks very much for being here on the broadcast and sharing those perspectives. Thank you. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.